And we're back. It's Coffee Morning Laughter. Good morning, everybody. It's another Saturday. It's me and Michelle in the house. Shall we say something? Morning. Morning, morning. Uh, that's a real big something she's saying. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to Coffee Morning Laughter. We're glad that you're back. Shell, how's it going? All right, man. All right. I'm new season. Like, yeah, yeah. I like it. Autumn. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. It's good for fashion, so I'm happy with that. Um, changing faces. Trying to get the fur coat in. I know, Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Whitney. Uh, come on. <laughs> I won't sing it to you guys. Please don't. Oh, <laughs> she was a hater. <laughs> yeah, she was a hater. Do you know what? I'm so tired because um, I've been doing a lot of work recently. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited about this morning. I'm excited about um, the topic for this morning. Michelle's trying to catch me out on a lot of things today. I am, man. So, listeners, go easy on me. Please don't. Yeah. Michelle, tell him what the title is, by the way. Right. Uh, this is Michelle's favourite part. So, this morning, we will be looking at, is it important to have certain conversations with your partner before you get married? <laughs> certain conversations. I want to know what conversations you're having with Dan mm. before you marry him. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What was it? Why are you shooting like that so what? quick? Pim, no, pim, I'm pim. not shooting. I'm just nah, shooting. that was nah. Even the attitude that you said that with. What do you I, mean? I want to know, like, Dan, you ever going to use the tanning spray? <laughs> <laughs> You're a fool for that one, Sheila. You're a fool. <laughs> so 12 years later. Leave yeah. my milk bottle the alone. milk is still milk. <laughs> You're a fool, Sheila. She's on one today. Dan, Dan, She's I love on you. one. And please don't stop her from coming outside. <laughs> <laughs> right. Michelle. So let's think of the conversation. So uh, all right, no, seriously, yeah. The conversations that people have before getting married, do they do matter? You, should you be having them? What do you think they should be? Yeah. Or the other way around, what do you think they should be? And should you be having them? I think you should definitely be having them. Okay, well, what conversations are we talking about first off? What's your credit like? Credit? Yeah. Because if you've got bad credit, that goes on you and your husband or you and your, your know, wife's thing. I know. So when you're looking for a mortgage, they're ah! judging you two together. Business shill up. Business shills. Look, listen, some people are coming here with debt from uni. I know. Debt from buying a Rolex. Look, look, you're can right. Happen. You're right. Yeah? No, you're right. So, and then you're now marrying somebody or getting with somebody. Yeah. And you're going to be affected with what you can afford. Mazza. Yeah. Even Fords won't even be able to give you a credit for a car. A Ford <laughs> Fiesta will turn you down. <laughs> so you've got to think about it. Who okay, you're partnering okay. up with. So I think that's a really important question. So credit is one of the first things. Credit is, that's even known in America as well. In America, yeah. But that's because in America, everything's on credit. Listen, yeah. I'm going to try and find this for the listeners, yeah? When, um, okay, and it's no secret that I'm a, I'm a Christian, yeah? But... Pastor, or is it, is it a bishop? No, Pastor Crawford Dollar, yeah? Mm. He has this thing where um, where he talks about the questions you should ask somebody before you okay. marry them, yeah? And it's the funniest thing. It, it says to men, ask women if that hair is real. Yeah? Oh, wow. Ask if that eyelash is real. If you're not sure, just ask. Because what if you don't like a woman who wears fake hair? And then you marry her and she takes off the wig. Yeah, but... To be fair, that if you your, if you liked it, if you yeah. looked at it, or yeah. the female, sorry, yeah. and you <laughs> liked the look of her yeah. with her fake hair, yeah. mind your damn business. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, you might not know it's fake because these Well, days, then that's yeah, on you. Yeah, but th th ask the question. Because somebody can look like they're well put together, and then when you marry them, Did you <laughs> they've been living on their cousin's couch. I will get you that um, the, the link for this. Yeah. Um, the Chinese man that married a woman they had kids, and God forgive me, this is his words and not mine, but the kids came out, like three kids, like very, very ugly. Yeah. And then what he then found out was that the woman had loads of plastic surgery. Yeah. And so he divorced her and sued her. For, for defrauding him? Yeah, basically. Because he said the kids looked like her before she had her surgery, but he didn't know that she had surgery until after the ugly kids came out. <laughs> No, no his child, words no not mine child is ugly. his words not mine they're not mine even though some people do say to people's kids mm, oh auntie me. Schiller, please <laughs> 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 she stopped me guys i yeah. know i've stopped she you stopped auntie Schiller, please even, i wasn't even gonna say anything bad yeah she just stopped me yeah but i gave her the look 
I think what it is, yeah, I think the questions that we're looking at within this episode really is that what are the conversations that you can be having? Mm. Yeah. Did you have any conversations with Dan on a real? So ours is a bit different. Obviously, for the listeners that don't know, I had a child prior to meeting Dan. Yeah. So um, I think, that, and we dated for oh, seven years before we got married. Yeah. Yeah, which Living is Living in long, sin. Yes, happily. <laughs> Yeah, happily, I said it. Sorry, Mummy Rose. Um, Jesus, Michelle. <laughs> I thought you was a believer now. <laughs> so I, I think I didn't have explicit questions that I had to ask him. Yeah. However, I saw his mannerisms. Okay. So, for example, um, Dan's not really, um, Dan's not a Christian. Um, I think he grew up going to church, but I, he definitely wouldn't describe himself as a Christian, whereas I am a Christian. Yeah. However... Dan knows what's important to me. Yeah. So Dan knows that I pray with all of my kids before we go to bed every night. Yeah. So Dan knows if I'm out, yeah. he will pray with the kids yeah. before um, they go to bed. So who's he praying to? White Jesus or black Jesus? Any Jesus. The <laughs> Jesus. Yeah? The Jesus. Guys, it's a, it's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a joke. I'm shaking my head too. <laughs> so obviously there's things like religion that I didn't really need to have that discussion with him. Yeah. You know, because I saw what he was doing with lives. So, so that was good enough for you? That was good enough for me. Okay. So I wouldn't ex now expect us to have kids. And then he says, I'm going to pray with that one, but not with these two. And okay. that's not what's happened. Okay. Because I think, because I think some, some, sometimes, okay, obviously 20, dating at 23 or being in a relationship mm. 10 years ago, when mm. you're younger, it will be different with somebody yeah. now. I, th I think you kind of fall Your into values, things. Yeah. yeah and what you're looking for. Yeah. I think if you're dating at an older age, yeah, it's what you're looking for. Cause you know more now. Cause the, the, the saying yeah. is, yeah, when you know better, you do, you better. do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I strongly believe this year, and I could be wrong. Yeah, and it's all right, people can, you know, interject and say whatever, but I guarantee you, majority of people that got married really early, mm. yeah, if they married at, you know, say 21, 22, 23, really early, yeah, if they had met their partners, now at tw at 35 mm. at 34 at 33 they would have married that man and i don't want to say yes and no because i think i met dan when i was younger yeah. but we married quite late yeah, but I if you I was had 31. met the man you had met then no at definitely 30, not because he was at, if, i don't want to say he was a boy but yeah no that's, that's what i'm saying yeah and some some men are still boys mm. yeah so if you're an older woman dating a man yeah and you want to settle down now and you're both the same ages, mm. yeah? Or a, an older man as well. Because some men meet women that are just not where they want them to be. And, and I was, was going to say, like, there's some females that are women, but actually we're still girls. Yeah. We, yeah. Young. Uh-uh. Like, uh, okay, auntie. Flurry. <laughs> <laughs> they love to give me that auntie title. I don't know why here. <laughs> it must have been, it must have been the wise wisdom I was pouring out last night. It's the, it's the cash, madame. <laughs> no, but it's kind of like, for me, the, the, the questions are really different mm. from what I was looking at at 23. Definitely. At 23, I didn't expect you to be in a full-time job. Yeah? yeah. You working at a retail job was good enough for me at 23. Yeah. Mm. At 23, I didn't expect you to, you know, know who you was because I didn't know who I was. Yeah. Like, fully. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Even now, at the age that I am, I don't know who I am fully. still. Yeah? yeah. I'm still learning self, yeah. But there's an element, there's a place where I'm at within who I am that I can make decisions. Mm. Yeah. That I don't want to now go and be, <laughs> using the words from the Bible, equally yoked to somebody mm. who doesn't even have a vision for themselves. Mm. Yeah. I couldn't get with a guy now who didn't have his own place. Okay. Uh, like, so someone that like lived at home, you mean? Well, that's even different, yeah, because you could be living at home with a purpose to buy oh, something. Oh, you're talking about no fixed address? Yeah, what am I doing? Where are we going? Fix the board, I call it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> it's like, that. I couldn't put myself in that position. No, definitely. Yeah. I, I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. couldn't have somebody say, oh, you know, babes, you know, um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know when people speak here yeah, without saying anything? Ah. Yeah. People were accusing Will Smith of doing this at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, he says a lot of things. But he says, he's he's not saying, yeah. yeah. But so imagine meeting a man who's your age now, the age that we are. Mm. Yeah. See, it's different for you, babes, because you've been in a position where you met your guy when you both were quite young mm -mm. and you grew together. Yeah. Now, yeah. at the age that I'm at now, look, 
where we go really no no you're right yeah. you're right like if you haven't got a place to live you haven't got a steady job you know you haven't got the credit there are things that so I'm these are, are these things that you are asking people now like yeah, what's your is, credit yeah. rating no come on like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> How can I? Like, even, I don't know what I'm even saying. Even people will think I'm mad myself. Yeah. <laughs> even my mum will say to me, you know, you're Are you mad. okay? Yeah. But the, the truth of the matter is, yeah, there's a way of finding out how somebody lives, yeah? Yeah. It's just that I think we've become more, um, we've become more um, refined in the way we look at people, mm. the way we talk to people. Because when you see somebody, you might just watch what they do on the surface, but if you have interest that's like more platonic. Yeah, so yeah. I, I look at. More, I, I, I look at the way people spend money. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So if someone's just out here just spending, 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 yeah. and then they want to be coming and asking me, borrow me a tenner. Yeah, borrow me a tenner. <laughs> but I'm seeing the way you're spending. Yeah. I'm like, that's not that's yeah. not adding up. Yeah. The adding is not adding. At all. I haven't got the tenner. Yeah. I, after a while, I'm like, I didn't have it when they first asked me. I won't have it at all. When they said to me, "Have you got room in your house for me to stay?" I don't have room. I don't have capacity. Yeah. No capacity. And everybody knows I don't have capacity. If you live into my flat, I don't have capacity. Yeah. Chills, you got capacity. I don't, for who? Even my clothes are falling out. Yeah. Do you remember when we did a sleepover in this very room? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We were twenty-three. Oh, yeah. We so we had capacity to be sleeping on floors, yeah, and you know whatever. But now a forty-four-year-old man I or know. a thirty-five-year-old nah, man wants to come to me to that say can't to be me, our portion. "Chills, yeah, let's be in this this one." I said, "What? Listen, nah, 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 nah. you want to take the balcony?" I'm very funny. Do you know what? I think even as a grown, well, maybe as a married woman, yeah, I can only sleep at my house if it's not a hotel. Yeah. I'm not, I don't, no, but it's, I, I don't see myself as a married woman. I can't be sleeping out at people's houses. Yeah. I have to return back to my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have Fixed to return back to my house. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't understand. So, so, but some people... So, so now a guy comes to talk to me at the age that I am. Mm. Yeah. And I'm going to be all right with that. And says, yeah, can I come and sleep over? So there's a question. So like you said, yeah, I might watch what you're doing. And I might be like, okay. Mm. What? Are you staying the weekend? When you going home, bro? When are you going? It's like this is not the lockdown yeah. period that you can't go back home. Yeah, <laughs> it's like what you're doing here. And I think for me, it's one of those things where what have you been doing mm. with your life to end up here? That got you to if here. I, if I'm hearing a story like um, that's like plausible mm. to say, you know, something happened to my family. I'm separated. I'm divorced. I'm so, yeah. I've had to pay this. Uh, yeah. This, and it makes because you know the, the, the arms of this world will I'm tell you the stories you. Yeah, that you need to hear. Yeah. Mm. So you've got to be vigilant. Yeah, mm. as a female, as a male, you've got to be hearing. Do you know Michelle always says the thing? Yeah, I'm um, shining your eye. You said Michelle and tap me like it's not no. me. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, yeah, shine like, your eye, like, guys. Shine your eye. Yeah, yeah. because the adding is not adding up. It has yeah? to add up. Somebody's saying to you they have a job. You never see them go to job to the job. Mm. When, when, there's a thing that there's a meme that came out here saying the person's always posting holiday pictures, but never post a picture at the office. Yeah. There's a problem, you know, yeah. or at work, yeah, or mm. anything. And I'm not saying get go in, but if somebody's dating you or looking to have interest in you, you need to find these things out, especially Definitely. where we're at. When when I was 23, I promise you guys, yeah, like not even exaggerating it, I couldn't care less about anything. What you was doing, <laughs> yeah, as long yeah. as you had money, mm. and that's not to say like you're bathing, you can take no, yourself no, no. out, yeah. you can do whatever you need to do. If you was driving your Ford Fiesta, it was okay. Yeah, or your Citroen, whatever you was driving, it was fine. It didn't bother mm, me. Mm. Yeah, but when we get over thirty, yeah, now I'm looking at you with intent. Yeah, and yeah. that's it. Yeah, I'm looking at you with intent because I'm seeing thirty-year-old boys doing the right things. Mm. So when I'm looking at a man who's forty, when I'm looking at a man who's thirty-five plus, and I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to say that there's a race or there's something. But there's things. I think the reality is you need to have certain things in order. Yeah. And if you don't, yeah. then actually maybe you're not ready to be married. Are you saying married or even just be in a relationship? Let me say married because mm -hmm. I think, I don't know, when, when did we, I thought we discussed that about, I don't feel that you need to be well put together to be in a relationship. To be in a relationship. Because okay. I think that people can grow I, and... People can, okay, so Michelle, yeah, you know, God forbid bad things as we always say, yeah. Imagine if you were still dating now. Mm. Yeah, and you know you're a nice age of what? How old are you now? Nice age of yeah. Yeah, nice age of thirty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thirty plus. Yeah. So you're now dating somebody. Mm. You've gone to work. You've established yourself. You have your own place. You're renting out properly. You're doing life for yourself. Mm. Now you want somebody to join you. Mm. This person, 
they don't really have a job. Yeah. They don't really have a you even when you're No 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 listen, it's not you don't really have a job. You ever have a job or you don't? You don't have a job. Okay. And you're saying that I have a job, but the job is not jobbing. That means you don't have a job. You yeah. do or you don't, yeah? yeah. So exactly. So even that, so when you was twenty three, that statement would be okay. Would be okay. Yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. kind of in work or not. Yeah, yeah. Because now at thir- at thirty something, you're thinking, so how are you paying your bills? Yeah. How are you taking me out? Yeah. yeah. How are you surviving? Yeah. How are you supporting your family? Mm. Yeah. To add insult to injury, if the person has kids or if the person wants to have kids and they're saying to you, we should have kids, to put them where? And you don't have a job? You don't have you a job. You can't open your mouth to be saying such things. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And this is what you get on this side of life. So when, mm. you're, when, you're, when you're dating somebody, ask the questions that matter to you. Mm. That's 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 my take on it. Yeah. Because not everything matters to me. Yeah. I might get with somebody that doesn't have an awful lot of money. That doesn't bother me because mm. I'm a believer that money can be made. Yep. Yeah. Like you just got to Money just, comes and goes. Yeah, money yeah. comes and goes. Anybody can make money if they're willing to if work. They want to. Yeah. So it's not a fact you, you know <laughs> it's the African saying of is that person that is doing it, do they have two heads? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my grandma says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the difference? What is what, the difference between you and them? Yeah, what's Literally. the difference? Yeah. yeah. Do they have two heads? But you know what, yeah? Tesco is always hiring. Mm. Yeah. As there's always hiring. Always. Yeah. Amazon. So, yeah. Yeah. So you can do something, but you're choosing not to do it. Yeah. So me in my adult state where I've seen life. Mm. Yeah. Do you think I'm going to do you know what, yeah? I'm gonna come on to this here and I'm I'm cutting corners here, but I think, yeah. It's the value you place on yourself mm-hmm. that will allow you to be in certain relationships. Yeah. yeah. And um, the, 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 my pastor preached something about having difficult conversations. Mm. Yeah. And if you're scared to have a conversation with somebody, yeah, that means there's something wrong there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if I'm dating somebody, if I'm talking to someone and I want to have a future with you, I am going to have those conversations. I should be. You, I should feel comfortable enough to yeah. say whatever's on my mind, as yeah. long as it's said in a respectful manner. Exactly. There should be no issue. So, so when I'm talking about questions that should be asked, yeah, you need to. <laughs> these days, you need to ask people, "Have you been married before?" And I, or are you still married? Or are you married somewhere? That's harsh. You, you, it, it, no, no, I know it's harsh. I agree, but yeah. I'm just like, damn. It, it's horrible what the world has got to because yeah. people lie, yeah. And, and then I, they'll say you just didn't ask. Hey, it's hey. true. It's true. Just, I, I not, didn't lie. You didn't ask. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the God forbid bad things. Because I want to make it to heaven. And the Bible says, do not be murderers. Yeah. <laughs> and if someone is telling me that. Sheila's looking to the heavens. If someone is telling me that, yeah, that you didn't ask. Yeah. But oh. that, that, this is why I ask my questions. Mm. Yeah. I want to know where you live. How long you've been living there for. Yeah. And girls, yeah, this is just something to let you know. If somebody then says to you, oh, oh this is my own place. I, I bought this place. Just ask to see the... To the mortgage deeds. Why? <laughs> because they're lying to you, yeah. But if, <laughs> if you're materialistic, yeah, yeah, and you don't have your own, that's gonna make you flatter inside, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna be like, oh, this guy is real. Deception. Yeah. Yeah. But if if watch long enough, yeah, you'll see it. You'll all. see yeah. if that person really is saying what they're saying. Because girls, 101, if you know, yeah, if the person says they've been living there for two years or three years, yeah. Sometimes um, you've got to remortgage. Yep. Yep. Remortgage. So you you hear those conversations of a person saying, "Oh, I'm just remortgaging. I'm going through this. I'm going through mm. that. My rate is changing." Did it? If they're not having so the, Yeah. Yeah. It's not happening. It's not happening. Yeah. If now their boiler is breaking, yeah, and they're saying that um, one housing group is coming to fix it, it's not. <laughs> Don't let that accidentally slip. Yeah. <laughs> no, listen, yeah, that ain't the house, yeah, because when it's your own property, you you're, you're paying for yeah. that. Yeah. You gotta sort that. So, mm. little little telltale signs, mm. yeah. You know, when you see a nice car, it's not always theirs. Yeah, yeah? all these things are on credit. It's terrible, yeah. man. So don't go for ask the real questions that mm. matter. Yeah. Well, funny enough, going back to our sickle cell um, episode, yeah. another things I think that both male females yeah. you know especially even yeah for the white people as well that might be into their ethnic peoples yeah um about your hands of this world <laughs> <laughs> i was yeah. gonna say my turkish delight shout out to you yeah um, you like them colored yeah <laughs> hate that word <laughs> what, what's um, wrong with it <laughs> chills right but it's about what is it blood it's not blood type it was 
it could be genetic. Group. Yeah, yeah so finding so one of the conversations you need to be asking is about the blood group. Yeah, you just need to be asking about yeah. you know. Listen, your last relationship went to the end of. Some people have serious STIs. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, serious like illnesses that there's can be one, transmitted. There's, there's one um, that actually stays with you. The HPV, but is is it uh, herpes? Oh, yes, yeah. herpes, herpes yeah. that stays with you. Yeah, you understand. So that's something. I was reading about this the other day, yeah, yeah because I think one of my young people had it, oh. and I said to her like, "Listen, you got to live with it. Yeah, it will come and go." Yeah. That's the reality. And I said to her, it's likely because of the person, the next person you get with will have it already anyway. Well, <laughs> you trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but I was being really real, yeah. Because do you know what, yeah? People don't take care of themselves and yeah. people don't have these regular checks, yeah? One thing that used to, it still happens, yeah? But one thing that you used, I always used to encourage a lot of young people doing, yeah? When I say young, I mean like above like 21 if mm. you're in a relationship and whatever yeah because i used to be a church youth leader whatever you can't control people what they're going to do with their private lives but you can advise mm. them to be yeah. safe here yeah? i would always say you people look really friendly yeah <laughs> you might need to have a check out of each Both other go and do yeah? The sex check. yeah yeah go and have it checked out and see see each other's results it's better to be safer than sorry exactly, that's the reality yeah? so now you're there linked to somebody and you're now nursing diseases for the rest of your life no thanks. Cause she'll have rolling her eyes. Honestly, <laughs> I, you know what? Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather pick yeah, yeah. my health. Yeah. Than rather be lied into health. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather yeah. pick. You know what they're not saying? Well, you made you made your bed now, lay in it. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather know exactly where I'm laying my head, yeah, than to be having surprise, surprise, surprise. No, no, no. Yeah. This is your life. And I think as people, we need to um, respect people enough to allow them to have that choice. So yeah. honesty is always, and I say this to lives all the time. Yeah. What's the worst that I can say? No. Yeah. I might true. say it angrily. I might shout it loudly. But the yeah. worst I'm going to say is no. Yeah. So always ask. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> You've got to have the spirit of discernment, as Michelle said the other episode that we had, yeah. <laughs> because why, <laughs> I don't know why yeah, I've been very spiritual about this, yeah. Because people will lie to you to get what they want. I yeah? know. Remember, at, 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 at 14... You're not much of a good liar. Yeah, well, yeah. Like, I, I, you know, they can still figure it mm. out. If the kid keeps lying to 14, they become a better liar. Yeah. Put 10 years on top, 24, they're a better liar. Put another 10 years on top, 34. I can't stand it. They're, they're working with the liars the in elites life. elites of the yeah? elite. <laughs> yeah. So now you're coming along with your innocent self, mm. thinking, oh, yeah, this is all right. You can be male, male or female, depending on where you grew up, yeah? Mm. And somebody would see that and take advantage of you. Yeah. yeah? So... I'm asking my questions because I want to know. Yeah. I want to know where you went to school. Yeah. Yeah. You're telling me that you've got a degree. A degree in what? Where from? Where from? What Did unit? you buy it? Yeah. Yeah. Because people will be telling you everything you want to hear that makes sense. And I said before in the podcast, ask questions that matter to you. Because mm. you might not care about somebody's background in terms of studying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you care about it, ask that question. And mm -hmm. if somebody is serious about you, they'll answer those questions. Yeah. It's for you to determine whether or not you believe them. Mm -hmm. I like. So would you recommend like a, a double authentication? We have to doubly check. So they've said it. Mm -hmm. And then you have to doubly check it somehow. Look, yeah. I like to ask questions at the beginning of the relationship. Because when we're in deep, yeah, when we're like in those three months, oh, romance, 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 yeah, I can ask you again when you're comfortable. That's it. <laughs> yeah. social work, we call it triangle, triangulate the information. So yeah. you have to get the same information yeah. from three different sides. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So if you're now there saying to me, oh, I love you. I'm like, I love you too, boo. That passport. <laughs> Yeah, and if that password's still not being shown, yeah, then my little hat is off, like saying, ding, 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 oh, ding, 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 I'm gonna go to my mum, mum, please go to the prayer closet, yeah. <laughs> God is showing me something here, it's not right, yeah. But it's little things, yeah. Mm. I, I would ask my questions like three different ways and three different times, yeah. Because if the if the answer is consistent, and if I believe then it you, makes sense, yeah, I don't need to ask you again, mm. yeah. But if I'm now looking at you like, mm, <laughs> nah, heard it all before, yeah, it's not gonna be. It's not going to be working, yeah. Mm. My my only thing would be, if somebody is refusing to give you information, that's an answer in itself. The yeah, silence is, is silence yeah. is an answer. No answer is an answer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So when you're being questioned or being told certain things, yeah, question it. There's mm. nothing wrong with it, yeah. So them difficult conversations need to happen. Hundred percent. 
Like, I'm here for it, yeah. And if anybody wants to know, actually, let me look for that. Don't do that. So if anybody wants to ask me. Okay. I knew where you were going. Yeah. Chill, don't, 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 don't do that. It's your business, yeah. Because <laughs> Mind your own. Face yeah, your own. Yeah. You need to go home and ask that person that you're with, yeah. Or that person that is telling you that they are having that. Sweet nothing. Oh, babes, it legit. I, I need to know, like, obviously, Michelle, you're married. Mm. And you might say to yourself, well, she was, I'm not dating, so I'm not asking certain questions. Yeah. Yeah. And those are not my worries in that regard, yeah? Mm. But I'm saying to you now, yeah, you have got friends. Yeah. That when we speak, you're like, Shills, did they even ask this uh, question? Like, did they even know about yeah. this person, this, this, and that? I'm like, look, yeah, I'm telling you what they told me. Yeah. Or even the answers that they are giving. Th- that they're giving. <laughs> hey. Um, it's not my baby mum. Um, it's my baby mum, but we're separated. But Shills. Sometimes, it's enough, it's enough. So, sometimes I sleep right. Sometimes I sleep right. It's enough, Sheila. I said, look, yeah, babe, yeah. That's, not, need, that's his wife. Do we need to put a trigger warning on this? I don't know if we need to put a trigger warning. I'm just saying, babe, yeah, that's not just his baby mum, yeah. That's his wife. And Listen, you were the mistress. Can I just do a, a PSA? Just a little announcement, yeah? yeah? As someone who has a child with a different, with someone who I'm not in a relationship with, yeah? Yeah. Things are they there's no grey when it comes to baby daddy. Yeah. 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 There's no grey. It's mm. black and white. Yeah. There was no sleepovers. Yeah. There was no holidaying. Yep. There was no yep. there was no nothing. Yep. It was for the child and that's it. So yeah, ladies, gentlemen, if it's if, if there's any grey, ah oh, man. Get out. Yeah. yeah, get out. This is not fifty shades of grey. I'm telling you, <laughs> get out. This is not fifty shades of grey. And it's kinda like um when people were there, like, oh no, but he called me in the morning. Yeah, oh. when she went to work. <laughs> but he called me Shut at the It's enough. Listen, yeah, she's a nurse and she does a night shift. Yeah. I need to so, rein her in, guys. Yeah. Sheila, I'm raining you in. It's enough. No, I cut yeah. off your mic. I'm trying to set my people free here. <laughs> Girls here, yeah, please. Yeah. Oh, don't do it to yourself this Christmas, yeah. Be set free here. Yeah. Ask the questions you need to ask. And when you get the answers, yeah, if you're unsure, listen, come to me. Yeah. Come to me. Come to me, yeah. Shills will. Michelle. Dr. Shills will. People, if you're unsure about what that guy is telling you, come to me, yeah? Because me, I know all the questions that you need to be asking. Oh, yeah? my goodness. Look, if the person is saying they're going to work, yeah, and every month you've got to lend them money, they're not going to they're work. They're not going to work, yeah? love. If the person is saying that they've got a house and they've got tenants in it, yeah, and they're staying at your house all the time, they haven't got a house and they no. haven't got the tenants in it, yeah? And you know what? You're just another girl that is a Ah, uh, I've got to cut her mic now, people. Uh, cut me off, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, I'm asking all the questions, yeah? Really, how old are you? Yeah. Yeah, let's know this. What what day was you born on? When did you arrive? <laughs> <laughs> for all the arms out there, yeah? So, you know, I've been in, I've been in, I've been in England for um, like 20 years now. Listen. The arms. Yeah. <laughs> Not the arms, yeah, the arms. Yeah, the arms, yeah. Like, you, all these questions, yeah? I know it sounds like it's, it's a bit mad, but they matter. And it's about trying, like, yeah, as much as we laugh, like you said, getting the same answer from different streams, yeah. then you know you're onto a good yeah, thing. Consistently. And watch yeah. the person circle, yeah? Mm. Like, you know the saying, fools rush in. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes take your time mm. with such certain things because when you rush into something, that's the bed you've made. Yeah? Unless it's love at first sight. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that love at first sight had a cigarette yeah, in his pocket. Look what happened. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then the girlfriend even came and told her, you, I'm I sleeping know. with your boyfriend and I'm not going to stop. That wasn't that one. That was a different one. Oh, Michelle, you know you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> that was a different How one. Times, see, that was a different one. This is a, this is a prime example of what I've been saying, yeah? Uh, she wasn't asking the right questions. To question. be young. I yeah. was, how young was I? Yeah, you yeah, wasn't asking the right questions. That was yeah. answer, I wasn't asking any questions. Exactly. So now if you're 30 plus, yeah, ask, ask the, questions the questions you need to ask, yeah? Don't be seeing just a couple of 50 pound notes and you're going to now off pants, yeah? There's no need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just <laughs> look, put the breast of salvation on, yeah? Or the helmet of salvation, yeah? Whatever where the scripture is, yeah? Don't let yourself down, yeah? By not asking mm. the right questions, yeah? It's been sweet. It's been nice. It's definitely time for us to wrap it up here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Michelle's thinking. I'm so glad I'm not dating anymore. Damn, I am, you know. Seriously, these streets, I don't know. They seem, it's, it's hard out here. It the looks hard. It looks mad. difficult. I'm mad, I'm mad, yeah. yeah. 
Like, it's just mad. Like, it's just kind of like, whew, I'm going to go out, but I'm going to be covered. Like me, I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. Every time Michelle's countrymen approach me. This girl's an idiot. <laughs> My Nigerian guys, I've got you. I man. didn't say it. You, you said my countrymen. Well, I'm a Nigerian, so you're talking about my people. I'm not judging you guys. Yeah, I'm judging. With a you. loaded judgment. Michelle, question. you're defending them, but you didn't marry them. Oh, Come through all in laughter. That was yeah? a slap. <laughs> Come through all in laughter. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm gonna defend. I feel like you've been waiting to drop that one as well. You know, I feel like no, you've been waiting no, to drop that one. Uh, this no. is a different topic for another day. Yeah, I love it when like you know my sisters. Yeah, who who left my brothers. Oh what? Yeah, now you're having yeah, a go. Okay. One of me saying. Ah! Brothers matter. Could you put your <laughs> your fist down, please? Yeah. Are you doing pro black fist? I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Brothers matter, but then they're going home to their suburban I you were areas. Up. Yeah, where well, you're not rounded up. <laughs> where brothers can't even get a pass through. <laughs> Guys, on that note, yeah, don't listen to me. Yeah, pick sense from the nonsense as usual. Yeah, coffee morning after. Take care, guys. <laughs> Have a great Saturday. <laughs>